but today I'm just going to do a quick video about how to uh, adjust your parking brake on your Land Cruiser and this applies to I think they're all about the same really I'll quickly just down here if I can show it you I'm not sure I can but there's a little wheel there a serrated wheel it's like a little cog and my finger is and that is your adjuster to push out your brake shoes and what you've got to do is line it up through there so that you can get a small screwdriver and they're normally pretty free and just adjust it one way or the other so if you go down that way that one's and right that's right off there so they're right in now both shoes are right in then next what we have to do I've took the disc back off and fitted new discs and new pads so there's the disc oh it's hard work on your knees or whatever on the floor but we don't have a ramp here so firstly what I need to do is give that clean up and we just want a slight bit of copper grease and a little bit that's around these edges in there just to stop them it stops your disc from rusting on you get well they're really difficult to get back off there's a little bit of copper grease around that don't need a lot if you're not careful you end up with it all over the place so that'll do for that I want to just clean that and what you need is a tin of brake cleaner pop the lid off that give it a good old blast where you've been and you dirty mitts all over it Caught it with a bit of grease or whatever off your hands or whatever you've been touching. Right, that's that bit. Next, we need to put the disc on and we need to align with them two holes where it just as good. So if you look in here, you can see there's more holes than what there is stood. Stood holes. So them just stood holes. One, one, and two. And your others. You can use it. Lining up with your adjuster. So, let's get that up. Bit difficult trying to hold it at the same time. So that all there is lined up with that one. 
that's on it's nice and loose as you can see put my wheel under there in case jack if for some reason it came off at jack it wouldn't come right down and crush me could do with something better than that really should have some axle stands but unfortunately we don't have none at this moment so right that's nice and free there So it's out of gear, it is an automatic, but it's out of gear, well it's in neutral, and, and brakes off. So what you got to do now is try and find that little cog in there. Just feel around, you should get it. You can hear it there going up, that's adjusting it. Turn that till it locks. That's locked up now. I didn't tell just got it right. Bit more. pretty much locked up so now we're going to go back a few turns at a time I think that's good enough maybe just a couple of turns off Maybe another couple. That's good enough. Just get up. Just want to just do the tripod right up. Right. Well, put caliper back on now. That's already got pads in. Nice new pads. If I can see him.
the sea. New discs. New pads. Pistons nice and free. Pins are greased up. A bit of grease right edge here to stop that. Rust it on later. Jobs are good enough. So there's just a quick one. In uh, putting your new discs on. Obviously didn't show much at pads, there's not much to show there really, just slot them in. Make sure everything's nice and free and doing what it needs to do, a bit of grease in the slots where the pads sit in it, caliper. So only thing I want to do next now is find my torque wrench, torque them bolts up and put wheel back on. So there you go, catch you soon, hope that's helpful, bye for now.